I'm going to walk through how to install Ubuntu based Bash on Windows with the latest update in August 2016. You can install Ubuntu without um, getting these uh, pre release versions of window, Windows. Uh, so, the first step you need to do is just check your Windows version. Okay, so just down here um, in the search, go ahead and do Win VER, and that will give you um, the version number that you're running. Here it says uh, 1607, so you need to be at least uh, 1607 plus, okay? If you don't have that, um, the next thing that you need to do um, is update. Okay, so just go ahead and type in update and uh, check for updates. Um, you'll come here um, It'll say that this, you know, if your device is up to date, but you still don't have uh, the latest version, um, so you can say check for updates, um, and you can do some uh, learn more right here down at the bottom. Okay, so click um, learn more, and that's going to bring you to a um, a Windows update history, or if it's available. It'll give you um, the opportunity to update to uh, 1607 plus. Okay, so you can install the Windows 10 anniversary update, and once that's installed, then you can move on to the next step. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close that out. So make sure you're updated. Um, the next thing we need to do is turn on developer mode. Okay, so um, again, just down here, type uh, developer. Okay, so for developer settings, and then uh, you have a couple different options here. You can just use Windows Store apps. Uh, that's the first one. Um, you can do the side load apps or developer mode. So make sure developer mode is uh, selected there, and um, and then that's going to give you some additional um, features that you can turn on or off in Windows that so they don't typically make available by default. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and do number four now. Um, so just search for features. We want to turn on or off certain Windows features. Okay, so turn Windows features on or off. Go ahead and select that. And then with developer mode on, then it will give you, um, if you scroll down here, It'll give you this Windows subsystem for Linux, and that says beta. Um, and so go ahead and select it. And when you select it, it'll require a restart. Okay, so Windows subsystem for Linux. Um, I'll go ahead and just screenshot uh, this. Okay, just make sure that is um, selected. Okay, and let me paste that in here. Okay, so that's just um, make sure that is checked. Okay, number five, after you've restarted your computer, um, then you can do two, one of two things. Um, you can either come down to the command prompt and uh, type uh, bash. Okay, so down here you can either do cmd, do a new command prompt, and then type bash, and then that will um, you know, in this case, it, it already started Bash for me because I have it installed. But um, if you don't have it installed, then it will ask you if you'd like to install it. Just go ahead and click yes. Okay, so you do um, I like to do CMD, get a new command prompt, and then uh, number six is a Bash. Now you can combine these if you want to install this automatically. Um, what you can do is uh, you can run lx run okay and slash install um, slash y okay and that'll also do it automatically for you um, if you want to just install uh, you know without um, you know automatically like through a script or something let's say you have a hundred computers that you want to update this on and that needs to be one of the steps. Okay, so there's another way uh, to do it. So the first time that you run this, um, it's going to go to uh, the partner of Microsoft, uh, Canonical, is providing this, um, and it will download um, 
download this Ubuntu-based Bash. So you're not running a Linux kernel on your computer. It's completely integrated within the uh, Windows operating system. So if you'd like to go see uh, where it installed, just go ahead and open up um, you know, File Explorer, and it's going to be in C, um, let's see, Users, and uh, your username, okay, there's my username, and then App Data, okay, this is going to be a hidden folder, um, and then uh, Local, okay, and then uh, LXSS. Okay, if you go there, there's your bash installation. I don't recommend um, copying files in here or out of here, um, you know, it's or, or modifying anything. Um, if you need to install, um, once you have bash uh, running, then you can use the apt-get. Um, so just do sudo apt-get um, update. Okay, it's gonna go ahead and check for updates. All right, and uh, it'll run and uh, just work on any updates that might be out there. And then you can also do, for example, sudo um, apt-get install, and then let's say you wanted to get Python, okay? And then it'll go out and get Python if it's not installed. You can also um, change directories, okay? So I'm gonna do um, get into my Windows, um, and so you get into uh, slash MNT C and that'll be your C drive within Windows okay and then you can uh, do LS for example um, okay so I'm gonna go ahead and just change directory to uh, users and then uh, tab complete uh, on your username and then you can go to something like uh, desktop Okay, so there I am on desktop, and let's say I want to edit a file. Um, I'll do uh, nano, uh oh, there goes my keyboard on my Surface Pro here. Okay, I'll do nano test.txt. Okay, and then um, this is a new text file. Okay, and then let me go ahead and just save this and uh, write it. And there is my test.txt. So with the Bash shell, um, I've been able to, um, you know, open up a file, edit it uh, within Windows. Which, um, you know, for those of you who have used Sigwin or, um, you know, there's other programs out there that are Linux emulators. This one has tighter integration into the operating system. So a couple things that it won't do, um, you know, if you're looking for, for example, a, um, a server, if you want to run like an Apache server, you can't do that uh, right now. Okay, so servers are out, and then also anything that uses a graphical interface is also out as well. Okay, this may change in the future, but for now, it's just um, command line, um, which actually brings quite a few powerful features into Windows. Okay, so that's it for um, the, you know the installation. Um, you know, just remember that uh, you can run. These are the same. If you have a binary that's running in Ubuntu Linux, this will be the same binary that's able to run uh, here in this Bash shell. Uh, it is. Um, you know, it's you can compile, it's, it's a native uh, Linux-like environment, although you're not running a Linux kernel.